everyone and welcome to my video tutorial today on how to manage your tasks in the new book system. We'll be taking a look specifically at housekeeping and maintenance today. The first feature that we have which is very helpful is default booking tasks. These are your automated tasks that can attach to bookings when they are placed in the system. So things like your pre-arrival checks or departure cleans are a great way to um, be set up as a default task, but things also such as daily towel changes or weekly services can also be set up here. So just to quickly show you through, heading into our main menu search, we have our default booking tasks here. You can see I already have an arrival check and a departure clean. Both are generating on the housekeeping list based on the arrival or departure date of the booking. We can see that there are four categories of accommodation that receive this, and we also have some other configuration options as to what types of bookings in new book are going to receive this. If you're creating a brand new default task, simply select add default booking task in the top here. The first thing you'll need to set is what task type it's for and what list you want it to appear on in the system. So if it's for housekeeping, ensure you select that here. You can then also select the repeat type that you need to set in the system. So when is it going to occur on these bookings? So there is a drop down option with quite a number of selections here. So for those of you who are doing daily towel changes or servicing, you might look at options such as particular days of the week or a repeat interval where things occur every few days. You'll need to ensure once you've selected your type, you enter the description as to what you want it to appear on the housekeeping list as, so that the team members that are completing them know what they're doing. Some other key areas you have in this section as well are the default task restrictions. So whether or not the task can be completed prior to the booking being departed or vacated in the system, whether or not you want these tasks to generate on bookings that come from your new book online page or from third party channels such as booking.com. And we also have some really great restrictions here that ensure that this task potentially only generates on bookings that are staying a minimum amount of nights. So that's great for those long stay guests who maybe get weekly servicing, but only if they're staying, you know, a minimum of 30 nights. Um, you can also do the same with setting a maximum night restriction so it doesn't essentially generate on any bookings staying longer than X amount of nights. You have a couple of other parameters in here where you can say that you only want these this new task to essentially create on bookings that were made you know, after a particular date, so maybe from today onwards and not for any previous bookings. Um, if you did want to create a task in the system and you needed it to update existing bookings, you can also state in here that you want it to generate on bookings placed before a particular date as well. Underneath, we then have the categories of accommodation that the task needs to generate on. So simply go through and tick which styles of accommodation are eligible to receive this particular one. And you can also actually click on the right hand side to specify which sites within that category are going to receive it. So if there was a particular room or site that isn't eligible, you can click into here and untick the one that is not going to have those occur. Lastly, we have our When Completed tab. This is where you can set what you want NewBook to do with the room or site status once this task has been marked as complete by a team member. So if it was a departure clean and you were happy for the status to be changed from dirty to clean upon completion, you would change it to clean here. If you wanted the departure clean to place it into an inspect status when it's completed, you would place it on inspect. And same thing for if you want to keep it on a dirty status, you would select this one here. If it's something that shouldn't change or update the status, such as a daily service or towel change, simply leave it on do not change. For those of you who also happen to have SMS enhancement on your new book system, you can actually choose to send a text message or SMS message to the guest upon completion of this task. Please note if you set it in here, it means every single time you complete it, it's going to send that text to a guest. Uh, but it is a really great tool, helpful for things like pre-arrival checks where you might want to advise the guests that their room is ready on the day of arrival once your housekeeping team have marked the arrival check is done. So you just select a template from here. You can also state that you only want to send it to bookings that actually are on a confirmed status. Once you're happy with that, you then save and that default booking task will then uh, automatically start generating on bookings that you place in those categories of accommodation. To give you a quick look at what that looks like, if we head to our bookings chart here, I'm going to take a look at this booking for Jane Doe. 
When you've got default booking tasks, when you're looking at the booking, you're going to see a section here called repeat tasks and you can see the family villa is eligible for those two default tasks and underneath it's advising that it has generated one of each of those. So they'll then be appearing on the housekeeping list for us to complete um, for their arrival and departure dates. If you're wanting to add a ad hoc or miscellaneous task, you know, onto a booking as per a guest request, there are a couple ways in which you can do that. If you're viewing a booking, you can head up to the add new button and select task once off. That then brings you to your add task page. It will automatically attach it to the booking. So you can see it's highlighted the location is booking and you'll see the booking below. It selects housekeeping by default. You can cross and remove that and place a different task type if needed. You then can state when you want it to occur. So I might say that this needs to occur after arrival, two days. And I want to do a once off sort of towel change. If I need a particular team member to be assigned this task, I can actually assign it to a user in the system by clicking here. If it's something that's extra important and I wanted to notify that person additionally that they've got this task due, you could also choose to send Zoe an email, a SMS if you have SMS on your new book license, a new book notification, which is essentially a pop-up when they're logged into the system, or a Slack notification if you have a Slack integration. If we're happy with what we've got here, all we then do is save. It takes us back to the view of the booking. It's created the task and you'll also see in the task section, you've got this extra one stating towel change. When it comes to completing tasks each day, your different teams in your business, such as your housekeepers versus your maintenance team, will be able to access various task lists in your book to manage their day-to-day -day tasks. Simply head to your main menu search. If you type in tasks, you're going to see the lists that are available for you to use in your book. Simply click on to the correct one, such as housekeeping. That will then load by default the housekeeping list for the current day. You'll notice that it's stating we've got nine tasks. We've got a couple of back-to-backs, which generally means that somebody is vacating today and somebody is also checking in today. So those are going to be your uh, priority tasks to get done. It could also mean that it's a back-to-back -back due to a task from the previous day not being completed and rolling over to the current day. And now you have an arrival potentially checking in and you need to get that room cleaned ASAP. For standard tasks where they are simply a departure clean and we can see the vacancy column here is saying vacant for the 29th, that is saying, hey, you've got somebody leaving, but we don't have anyone checking in, so it's not necessarily critical for you to complete. We then have our pre-arrival checks. Again, these are our default booking tasks that are automatically appearing here. And we've got two for the current day, Luxury Villa 5, Premium Villa 29. We can see who the guest is that's actually arriving for that day. And we also have these other columns on the right as to what we're able to do on this list. So some helpful columns that I've actually added in here are staff and also edit task and notes all of which can be custom configurationed by using your column configuration option on your housekeeping list. So click into here, simply configure for your username and add in the hidden columns on the right hand side that you would like to add in to make the day-to-day -day management of your housekeeping list as easy as possible. Once you've added or minus off what you want, you then save and it will update for you. When it comes to completing a task, if an arrival check has been done, simply select complete and it will state at what time and by what user um, has actually actioned that for the day and that ensures it doesn't roll over to the next day. If a staff member accidentally completed the task and you needed to reinstate it because it was completed incorrectly, having the edit task column is helpful because you can simply click edit task. A pop-up window appears and then in the reinstate task option you can state yes and save and that will revert it back onto the list as a task that is still waiting to be completed by somebody. If we wanted to add a note to this particular one to communicate something extra to our staff member we can click notes, add note and this will appear on the task for the housekeeper to action. Separate to these options that we have here if you're wanting to bulk complete tasks in the system, you've got the ability to bulk select and then in the top you have your with selected complete option. That will then allow you to bulk complete multiple tasks in one go. 
If you are wanting to assign tasks to a particular staff member, you can see I've added the staff column in here, which allows me to simply click assign and it will show an available list of users that are set up in the new book system. You can add one, you can add multiple, that's no problem at all. And then simply save and you'll see it shows those staff names here for us. If you're wanting to assign in bulk, again, using those bulk tick options and with selected, this time you would say assign staff member instead and that will allow you to place those in here. When it comes to the housekeeping list, so all of the task lists in New Book are able to be customized in the sense of uh, adjusting the look and feel of them. So at the minute you'll see my housekeeping list is loading in the sense that it's showing me all of my back-to-back -back task group together and then my departure cleans and my pre-arrivals and so on. If I want to make any adjustments to this, you can have a look in the actual list settings. So if you click in the advanced button here, you'll notice there are a load of different settings that can be configured on these lists um, to really enhance the experience for you based on what you need to see and how you want to see the information. As an example, in the group by option, at the minute it's grouping my list by the tasks. I could change that to group it by the category of accommodation instead. So if I select category and reload, you'll see it then uploads it to show the family villa tasks and what is occurring for those and then you've got my luxury villas and the tasks that is associated for that one. You can also do the same thing for um, showing tasks based on who has been assigned what. So if we want to have a housekeeping list that we print off and give to each staff member, um, you'll see that they can be grouped in that manner on this list as well. Any ones that are waiting to be assigned will then be listed in an unassigned area so that you can then go through and either manually assign one by one or bulk select and assign in one go. If you are wanting to preset any of those buttons to always load or be defaulted, in the options bar in the top, there is a default and required field section. You can configure it for just your user or all other users as well in the system if you need to. That depends on what access you have based on your user profile. And then what you would do is simply untick the system default and in the right hand side you would select what setting you want to enforce when you load this list. Once you make that change, you would then select save. So I just updated the default um, date range to show week and you can see it's actually now loaded my housekeeping list to show me all tasks for the week from the 27th to the 2nd of April. If I wish to print this, I can go down to the bottom, PDF, reload and simply print that off and hand that to my housekeepers. If you want to send this to a particular user, you can also actually insert an email address in here and then email and reload and I'll send it off to that person at that very time. However, please note we do have an automation feature in your book called Scheduled Reports, which actually allows you to automatically send housekeeping lists and various reports to particular users in the system on a specific interval, so daily, weekly, monthly, um, or any sort of custom period that you specify. The last thing I'd like to note on the actual housekeeping list page is the Add Housekeeping Shortcut button in the top right. If you are working on the housekeeping list and let's say a staff member has advised that a guest needs some extra towels, you can select add housekeeping here and it will bring up the add task box where you can simply specify the location of the task. So you'll notice it goes to site. So if it was specifically for a particular room, you could tick below. If it was for a particular booking, you can use the search option to specify the location, that will reload so that you can then locate the booking in question um, that you might have in the system. So Jane Doe and select the one that you're after and specify the date similar to what we did earlier and then the description of what they require and then save. And that will add to the housekeeping list based on the date that they are essentially checking in. The next thing I'd like to show you is actually how you can block out a room for maintenance. So there are multiple ways you can do this. A really easy way is doing this from your bookings chart. So if you had a call where family villa number 72 is essentially flooded and you want to ensure that staff do not make any bookings for guests on that room, head to the chart, click how long you want to make it unavailable for and add from chart new maintenance task. 
When we select this, it will bring us to the Add Task page where, it's, where you'll notice it's automatically selected site and you'll be able to see the room or site number that we preset on the chart. It also sets the task type as maintenance because again, that's what we advised it was going to be. It's got the dates already pre-filled, but you can adjust here if needed. And then you're going to place the description in here, such as out of order for a flood. You've got the ability to assign it to a particular user, and then that will appear on the maintenance list under that particular user's name. That will also give you the ability to notify that staff member, um, especially if it's something urgent or additional that you really need to make them aware of. The main thing that you need to notice on here is that when you do a task from the chart, the Occupy location defaults to yes, which means it is physically going to block out that room or site and make it unavailable for bookings to be placed on it. If we need to make other rooms unavailable or block additional rooms or sites out, you have the ability to tick the ones that you need to block out in the list below. You can also select all sites if you need to make them all unavailable for any particular reason. If you're happy with what you've selected, you can then select save in the top right. That's going to direct us back to the booking chart where it shows us that it's created the three tasks and you can see it's clearly out of order for a flood for those particular rooms. If you want to complete the task from the chart, you can actually double click and complete them from here and you'll see it opens it up for the remainder two nights. However, it's keeping it blocked for that first night because essentially that day we are currently in it. So it's already commenced. Um, if you wanted to make it unavailable or remove it from there so it's not showing as um, blocking it out, you wanna make it available for somebody to book, you can double click into here, edit the task and simply change the occupy location to no and save. So that just removes the block from it so it can be booked by a staff member. Separate to this, if the maintenance team need to manage the tasks that they've got on for each day, they would head to the main menu search and locate their maintenance lists for the day. So all task lists work the exact same way. Um, you've got the ability to again, customize them based on the department. So if the maintenance team prefer to have a um, a list that groups it by the task. Again, they can preset their configuration options down here and set them as required fields. Um, and they've also got the option to add the column configuration in from here as well. Separate to our maintenance list and our housekeeping list, we have in the menu a tasks page. So if you head to this area here, this actually shows you every single task within the new book system that has been created. This is a great way if you need to bulk complete tasks across different departments, so maintenance, housekeeping, and so on, or if you've accidentally created a task incorrectly that's recurring and has created a large volume of tasks, you have the ability to tick the ones that you need to remove in the system, and then down below, you can either assign them to a particular person, um, complete them if you need to, reinstate them in bulk, or cancel. So it's a quick way to cancel things that you have incorrectly done and then confirm in the system as well. Lastly, I'd like to show you a helpful report that you can use for forecasting or rostering your housekeepers. If we head to our main menu search, we're going to locate our booking movement history report. If I want to see upcoming tasks that I've got scheduled, you know, for the next week or month, I can load the dates in here. I can group the information by the category of accommodation, and I can also filter to just show categories that require housekeeping. When I run this, it's going to give us an overview of how many arrivals we have on each day in each style of accommodation, how many departures, whether any of those are back to back, so our priority cleans, and how many are actually staying over in that period of time. So it's a great way to see what's coming up and how many team members you need to roster on due to how busy you are. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on task management. We hope you've enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you in our next video tutorial.